Hey guys, I hope you're having a great day. Today I'm going to be showing you some of the items that I've been picking up over the past few months from about December through now. Um, little bits here and there that have all um, added up to be a nice little haul right now. So first up is something that I got from Trader Joe's and it's their Tea Tree Tangle Conditioner. I've been hearing about this bad boy forever so I figured that um, one day while I was shopping I would throw it in my cart. I remember that um, I saw a video where Natural85 was using this and um, she said that it's really great has a lot of slip and plus I've been hearing a lot about it um, from a ton of different people over the years so I'm happy to finally try this out um, I also have some goodies from Vitacost I had two separate orders um, that I made over like the past like five months or so so the first thing that I have is the Desert Essence Coconut Conditioner I tried this before and I really liked it but I used it up in two washes so I didn't get to do a review on it so I'm really excited to have it now this was like under five dollars I think I love Vitacost their prices are amazing um, I also got the EO um, Coconut Hibiscus Sulfate Free I would hope that a conditioner would be sulfate free conditioner I think this was like five dollars, something like that. Good ingredients. Got a couple of items from Aubrey Organics, the Honeysuckle Rose Moisturizing Conditioner. I tried this the first time that I was natural, and my hair was like lukewarm about it. It was like, eh, it's okay. But um, my hair seems to be a little bit different as far as its properties and everything like that. This go around, so I figured I'd give it another shot. And I also got the White Camellia Smoothing Conditioner. My hair loved this. Um, when I used it previously when I was natural as well so I figured I would return to it see if my hair still likes it and I ordered another Aubrey Organics conditioner and I think it was like a one that I haven't seen before it was called like Island Ginger or Tropical Ginger something like that but it had nice ingredients and really really pretty packaging it was like a sunset looking thing but they sent me another white camellia by accident and um, since I still have like packages and stuff shipped to my mom's house because I don't trust my apartment here quite yet because it's really open and just I don't know about that so but anyway I think it's been too long for me to call them and let they know they sent the wrong thing um, it's been over 30 days so now I've got two white camellias and I'll pick up the other one again during my next order and have her open the box to let me know if they sent me the right one um, the next one I think that Jess curly girl Jess I think she likes this one so I picked this up the nature's gate um, pomegranate sunflower and I don't have a good history with nature's gate I ordered I got a ton of products from them um, again, the first time that I was natural, so this is almost like me revisiting stuff that I've used before. But I um, got a ton of Nature's Gate the first time I was natural. It was before I found a lot of, um, before there were a lot of hair care companies, really, like there are now. And whenever I saw Nature's Gate, I just gravitated towards it because it was um, silicone free, had decent ingredients, but it did not have enough moisture for my hair. But um, she said this one's really moisturizing, if I remember correctly. And if worse comes to worse, I use it as a pre-poo. Um, it's 18 ounces, and I think this was like 5 bucks. So I use it as a pre-poo, or um, the way that I use my really bad nature's gate as I use it as a shaving cream. So either way, it'll find its way into my routine, but most likely as a pre-poo if it doesn't work as a deep conditioner for me. And the last hair related thing because I get a ton of different random stuff from Vitacost one of which is cooking on the stove right now but um hair related and kind of food related I got this big old thing of coconut jar coconut jar coconut oil um it is 54 ounces and um I got this to use as like in my diet as well as on my hair so I've been taking a little teaspoon or two teaspoons of it um this week so I just started but I've been seeing a lot of research that coconut oil if taken that way helps to shrink your tummy so um, I'm curious to see how this plays a role in that again I just started so I don't know um, how true that is but either way it's a good way for me to get some healthy fats um, and I take it in the morning to kind of you know get my metabolism going and put you know a little bit of healthy fat into my system early in the day and I've also um, last night I sealed with this because I also want to experiment more with um, coconut oil in my hair and this is um, organic certified organic all that fun stuff so I want to experiment with it because my hair normally doesn't do well with coconut oil on wet hair but it does well um, when it's on dry hair sometimes and if it's mixed into other products so I used very very minimal product because that's why I look so tired right now I did my hair I um, pre-pooed washed clarified deep conditioned with my hothead and I 
detangled and I applied my moisturizer and sealer all in preparation for this whole hair coloring thing that's coming up coming up in a couple of days um, so I did all that last night freaking exhausted I'm gonna eat my food hang out on YouTube for a little bit watch TV and go to bed early tonight like grandma early but um, anyway I didn't want to use a lot of products so I used my Curl Junkie Argan Olive as my leave-in conditioner and then I sealed with this because I want my color to not have a bunch of product getting up the way of it um, depositing color into my hair and also coconut oil is one of the few oils that research shows penetrates the hair shaft and um, I want to guard my hair against any potential damage that um, you know since I am doing a chemical process with the whole coloring thing so yep in my belly and on my hair coconut oil fighter cost so next is a company that I've been wanting to try since before Black Friday I haven't heard much about them at all but I missed out on ordering from them because I think I was working yeah I was working on Thanksgiving which was horrible and hopefully I'll never have to do that again because hopefully I won't be in the type of job position where I'll do that again because it was ridiculous but anyway I missed it on their sale it was 50% off amazing sale Lo and behold, they had another 50% off sale about a month or so ago. I think I posted on my Facebook page about it. But the company is Happy Nappy Honey. Is that the name of it? Yep, Happy Nappy Honey. So 50% um, off, I was like, oh yeah, now is the time. And I think it was free shipping too. So with the amount, yeah, pretty awesome. So I got the Not Going Bananas Conditioner. Not Going Bananas. This has um, Kupuachi Butter, Horsetail Butter, which I've never heard of before. Um, African mango seeds, Brazilian nut butter, lanolin oil, honey. It's got to be some banana in there somewhere. I don't know. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. I'll read um, a little bit more about it and um, talk about it when I do the review to see if there's any banana in it. But um, y'all know how I love my pink sugar. I got their pink sugar hibiscus deep conditioner. Small packaging, but hopefully I'll get a couple of uses out of it. Um, I got their Peachy Clean Soap. This is for your lady bits, the Peachy Clean Soap. I don't think it smells like peaches, though. I don't know. Maybe peaches are innuendo. I don't know. But, yeah, um, I got that. And the next thing I'm going to be careful to show you because the packaging on the jars is not great. Um, so I'll be a little careful as I'm getting them. I'm going to have to store them a certain way um but i had the gamu gamu olive and honey caribbean coconut deep conditioning mass it's super long so here that is i don't know if you can see but this is all oil that's leaked from this it's like shrink wrapped so i don't know where the oil is coming from but there is a ton of freaking oil just leaking from somewhere and i put it on top of another item so that it wouldn't get everywhere and i didn't want to waste it oh crap did i get it on my face i don't know no i didn't I mean, it smells good, but where the see it's dripping. I don't know if y'all can see it, but that's the little drip drop right there of oil. Like, what the hell is that? I see it separating too. But anyway, mm, y'all, um, yeah, there's that. My food is getting like really hot. Let me hurry up. Um, I also got the candy cane curl pudding. That's this one. It's got peppermint oil. Um vegetable glycerin, olive oil, cool stuff like that. So yeah, I'm going to put that gently over here because I don't want to make a mess. This one is also leaking and it was like this when I um, when I received the package, my mom told me that something had spilled. I was like, uh oh. So she took the stuff out of the box and something had got oil all over the box. So I just, I really don't like that. Um, not cool. I also got their blueberry yogurt. Is this leaking too? This is leaking too. Oh my gosh blueberry yogurt hair mask um i'm gonna stack this like this the whipped vanilla butter i got this as well whipped vanilla butter um it's just a shea butter blend it's got shea butter olive oil grapeseed glycerin um, coconut oil stuff like that and this item thankfully is not leaking and it's the one that i was the most excited about the coffee caramel brulee hair and body moisturizer I love caramel, so anything with caramel in the name, even if it's not edible, I'm a little curious. So let's see. You can definitely smell the coffee in this bad boy. And I hear that coffee extract is supposed to be good for hair growth. Don't know about that one. Um, 
we'll we won't see because I really don't believe it. But it's cool that they make that claim, I guess. Um, let's see, it's got coffee bean butter, kupuachi butter, Brazilian nut oil, elite butter, mango butter, cottonseed oil, black seed oil, and a host of carrier oils and a premium caramel fragrance. I don't you know what it smells like? Um, I'm one of those people who prefer the car the um coffee beanery to Starbucks as far as actual coffee. I get like desserty things from Starbucks that aren't of the coffee variety, but I get the caramel cafe from coffee beanery. I don't think there are many around. Um but this smells just like the cafe caramel to me. It smells good. So that's oh, I got I was about to say this everything. I've got a couple more things. Um I've got the Babasu and Cacao ACV Conditioning Hearts. Um, and this is more a flower than a heart, so it's in here. Um, the way, I don't think that it's like weird, because the color is kind of strange. Um, I don't think that it's weird, but I think this is one of those products that I need to use this sooner rather than later. And last but not least, I think this is, I think I don't know, because it's not labeled with a name, it's just the company's name. Um, they had a couple of things on clearance that were also um, on clearance plus the 50% off. So I got something. So I think maybe I ordered this. I'm not sure, you guys. I don't know. This is some little mystery item. So that's everything from them. I really don't like how that stuff is leaking everywhere. And I have a feeling that um, a good portion of the things that I ordered are things that I need to use quick because they, I don't know. I don't want to have another Coco Curl situation. But anyway. Um, Next is stuff that I've been getting from Target, and the Target, I um, I live in Northern Virginia now, I'm originally from, um, like I mentioned, the Tidewater area, and our natural hair section back home is robust and thriving, but the one up here in Northern Virginia has shrank considerably. Um, they discontinued two of the lines from Shea Moisture, including the African Black Soap line, I don't know why, but they don't carry it anymore. Um, so I got the deep cleansing shampoo on clearance because, you know, um, I was looking for a nice clarifying shampoo that would get a lot of gunk out. And um, this is probably going to strip my hair, to be honest. I saw Mel Cherie's review on this, and she said that it was a really good shampoo, but it does get everything out. And sometimes I think I'm going to need that. So I picked up that. Also on clearance was the dandruff and dry scalp elixir. My scalp gets a little dry sometimes, so I thought this would be good. Um, and also I'm going to be trying um, mini twists again in the next couple of months. So this will be good if my scalp starts to get a little itchy. Also the yucca and baobab line is discontinued. So I picked up their thickening moisture mist. I also want their mask. I'll get that eventually. Um, so that's everything that I got that is Shea Moisture. Oh no, actually, here it is, right here, something else. Um, they released their Smooth and Repair line um, a, a few months ago. And I think Jess posted on her Facebook about it, and then she made a video about the things that she got. So um, she said the shampoo was awesome, and I was curious about everything. So they have this little sample pack that comes in a box, and it comes with everything. These are pretty generous samples, so I think that I will know what to repurchase and what's not by the end of it but it came with four items the smooth and repair rinse out conditioner the smooth and repair hair and scalp weekly treatment this will be gone in one use for me I think the um, smooth and repair conditioning shampoo this is the one I'm really excited about because this is the one she said is really awesome and their smooth and repair hair straightening treatment um, I don't really plan to straighten my hair anytime soon maybe for my birthday in November but yeah that's a while from now so cool way to try out the items see what I like also from curls I picked up the coconut curlata conditioner these both smell um, these smell amazing they smell like Mm, like vanilla frosting they smell so good so good um, also the kids line from curls at this particular target seems to have been phased out so I picked up their cupcakes and cream conditioner um, I think I'm going to use this as a leave-in conditioner it smells really really good mm, it's got that same cupcake desserty fragrance um, Curl seems to use that a lot in their products, and I don't mind because it smells delish. But yeah, the cupcakes and cream conditioner, and this was like these were each a dollar twenty-four. So when I went back to get more, they were all freaking gone. So I wish I would have got like a ton, um, because I also picked up their 
red velvet, what is this? Red velvet moisturizing cream or something like that. Because the thing he's covering it. But it was $1.37. Um, this smells so good. All the curl stuff smells amazing. So yeah, I wish I would have picked up more because you can't beat that. $1.37 and the ingredients are pretty nice. Um, and last from the Curls Kids line, the Curly Q, is the Lala Meringue Curl Spray. And that was $1.24. Like, I'm so mad I didn't get more. So good. Mmm. This smells like a mixed drink. Like, smells so good. It smells like Miami. It smells like really good. Um, I picked up a couple of items from Jane Carter, the which was also a bunch of the line was on clearance. Weird. Um, the hair nourishing cream. This item I was gonna get at the World Natural Hair Show, but I didn't get it, so I'm kind. I was kind of like, oh, I wish I would have got it. So I picked it up. The Incredible Curls, um, curly wash and wear styling cream for fine to medium curly hair. Um, I don't have fine curly hair. Maybe some parts of it are medium but I really like the ingredients so I'm really curious and I've never seen this product before the hair show so I'm excited to try it out and I also this is I never expected to want to try this again but I decided to give it another go the Karen's by the beautiful luscious locks hair mask um, I used to love this when the company first um, formed like um, mid 2000 early 2000s I believe it was no like mid 2000s I think I loved it I tried it again it wasn't the same um, but so many people like it I wanted to try it again because maybe I just got a wonky bath the last time I ordered so I'm actually really excited to try this out again and last but not least is another old favorite that they changed that I'm giving another go and it's the Camille Rose curl maker this has quite a bit of um, hydrolyzed wheat protein in the top five ingredients actually so I'm a little nervous but um, I'll give it a go my hair used to love the original formula which was a lot smaller um, as far as ingredients these are all the ingredients right here it's a lot going on but hopefully um, my hair will like it so that's my haul you guys I'm really excited to um, put everything away I'm on a no buy no buy at least until 4th of July because the 4th of July sales last year were amazing some of them were better than the Black Friday sales from the same company so if there are some really nice 4th of July sales I will be biting um, not much just a little nibble maybe I won't go crazy I hope um, and also I think that Sultanicals is having a sale I need to go post about that on my Facebook page right now actually but they're having a Mother's Day sale and they release new items and I think I'm just going to have to dive in and get them because I they look so good. So, yeah, guys, I'm about to eat and go to sleep. And um, I'll see you in my next video. Thanks so much for watching, everyone. See you next time. Bye.